Hey, what's up, y'all? Chief Manny Washington, also known as Chef Manny FD, and I'm here at the firehouse today, and we're going to show you how to fry a turkey. But not only that, let's fry it safely, all right? Come on in the firehouse. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> what we're going to do is, is that before you turkey fry, I know you think about the turkey fry and the oil stuff. Before you do that there, I wanted to save you a big headache to make sure you don't put too much oil in this. Pre-measure with water. So what we do is that we have the water here. We're going to turn it on here to get it going, and have your turkey here standing by. What we're going to do is we're going to do it to the water that we're supposed to have it at. Put the turkey in and to make sure it rises so we don't want it to come out and cause a big fire. <laughs> Our level here, we have it marked here. So I have here about, eh, for this one, three gallons. It may be different for everyone here. So I already have it marked there. Have some lines. If you don't have lines, go ahead and mark with water. And let's do a quick test. Just drop a bird in and see, nice and easy. So when you want to check a couple things. One, that it's submerged, but also two, you don't want to overfill it. So, Looks like we have a good one there. So now we're going to go ahead and have everything set up outside. Let's go. <laughs> so now we've preset it. We know what water we have to do. Now let's go ahead and get the, let's get the party started. So let's go ahead and get some oil in here. So first things first is location, location, location. So you got to make sure you're at least 10 feet away from a building, nothing overhead. So this is a perfect spot, preferably on concrete or solid ground if you can. So once you do that, let's go ahead and put our oil in. I'm going to put three gallons in. I can say any oil works. I can say I recommend peanut oil. But today we have vegetable oil, uh, it's a lot more cheaper, but like you said, any oil will suffice. So now we got to fill this front apart. All right, here we go. We're going to light it on. We've had fire. We, uh, we got it going. We have the oil going here. We want to make sure, we want to have a keep an eye on it, have somebody keep an eye on it, even though we have it away from the fire and stuff there. And we want to make sure we're going to wait to get this to 350 to 375. Once we get it, that's the optimal range for frying turkey. So now that we have that done, let's go ahead and put the final touches on our turkey. Let's go season that bad boy up. <laughs> hey, so, you know, when you're doing your turkey here, this is what you want to do maybe, for me, 72 hours before is to do a brine. And the purpose of brine is to make a juicy bird. And what I have here today is a very simple brine here. So I got some citrus here, add some limes, some lemons, put those in there. We're going to do some salt. Hopefully you have kosher salt here. This is all we have here, so we're going to throw some salt in here and some sugar. So we have here, we have our salt, we have some sugar, we have the limes and lemons here. Uh, I'm gonna put some water in here and then we'll put it in the refrigerator. Some people don't have a luxury refrigerator. So if you do this, mind you, just make sure you have a cooler something to keep it cool the whole time, all right? So let's go ahead and make this up and put the bird in. <laughs> Later. Movie magic. It's been 72 hours now, so we have the brine already set here. We have a nice bird here ready to go. Today is game day. Today is frying the turkey. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead, get it out of the brine. Get all that stuff there. You can smell the citrus. It just smells great. We're gonna put it in here, and then now we're gonna make sure we pat it dry, get the stuff off here, and let's put our seasonings on it. <laughs> we have our turkey. Let's go ahead and season it up. It's every preference. Usually, uh, one of the things you can do, I injected it with some Creole butter into it there. And then now, let's go ahead and put some season on here. We have some Cajun seasoning. One of the most common things you fry with, so let's go ahead and just get it seasoned up. Very liberal with the seasoning for me. If you ain't sneezing, you ain't seasoning. So we want to get this bird nice and, <laughs> woo! Got me good there. Got everybody coughing. I'm gonna put a little seasoning on here. Get this bird nice and seasoned up here because with the oil and everything, the seasons are going to fall off. So we just want to make sure it's nice and feel loved. Get all those good goods and groovits. All right, so here it is, the movie magic here. Once we have it all nice and seasoned, I got it mounted. Let's head out to our fryer. Let's go. All right, we have our bird here. One thing you want to do as another safety we can do is turn off the fire. We already got to go to 350. We know once we drop the, the bird in it, it's good, the temperature is going to drop. But we want to make sure that we have the fire off, so just in case it overfills, we won't have an actual ignition source there. So let's go ahead, let's turn the fire off first, and then we'll put this bird in. Nice and easy. We want to slowly put it in there. Give it a second. We have that. Let's go ahead and set the fire back up. All right, so we want to first these first is we're going to pull the thermometer out, and we also want to 
we'll turn this off. Make sure we turn the fire off, because we're done. Kareem Buzazi uh, is going to help us here with a beautiful mustache take out our turkey here. So go ahead and take out the turkey, and he's going to slowly take the turkey out, let it hang, slowly go in here, allow the juices to drain out. Look at that. We got ourselves a fried turkey. We're just going to take a second there. Look at that, y'all. Look at it, nice golden crispy. All right, and there we go. We have ourselves a fried turkey, nice and golden. Look at that, just the oil stuff here. So that being said, we want to make sure the fire is soft, it's cooling down, and make sure we recycle our oil once it's cool.